Hi, I'm Shane. I'm Austin. This is our deep dive into the post-human. Yeah. Join us as we acquire the knowledge we need for us to be able to create our own vision of a post-human world. Today we interview Professor Phil Carter, where we explore our identities today and how the future could affect that. The current idea is that the individual is separately existing with the ability to make choice and decisions. Um, to me, that's only one way of looking at things. So another way of looking at it is that really we're a social animal and that our, our identity is created from the group. And there's an area of the brain which is formed uh, by the infant in response to their experience of the social field that they're in. So you yeah, their parents, their grandparents, their siblings, their cat and a dog, and they get a model of how the social world works. And then this thing influences their experience and their identity. Yeah. Yeah. So memory is critical. Animals have memory, but somehow we've turned memory into something really powerful. And then we've created the computer, which to me is the God act. So God created in his own image. The human did the same God act. The human created in its own image of being a thinking, symbol, manipulating being. And it's created this computer, which is what it does. It has memory, it has symbols, it um, analyzes those symbols and it creates future project projection, it creates certain things, right? So. The idea is that you create in your own image, therefore maybe you're not human anymore, maybe we're God, because we've done that God act. Then here's the thing, you become what you create. So how much has the human already become the thing that it's created in terms of IT, technology, robots, yeah, you know, stuff like that? Yeah. Oh. Quite a bit, um, Quite a bit I reckon. It's um, increasing exponentially, like year by year, basically. Yeah. yeah. Um, so already we've been kind of colonised by robotic thinking, certain types of thinking. Um, before we've even cyborgs, before we've got even implants or, you know. Yeah. Um, that's kind of interesting to me. Certainly the human body is robotic. Yeah. We're a physical being, aren't we? Yeah. We're pretty wet. Yeah. But um, we're, we're still, still mechanical. We're still mechanical. Yeah. Um, but then when you try and locate memory or locate identity, you can't really find it. It's, yeah. you, there's no it's real place, place where it is. Eh? Yeah. You have a sense of you, but where is it? I mean, there are other theories around that the brain is more like a transmitter receiver and that the memory is actually outside. Oh, so it's yeah. both inside, like ripples in a pond sort of intermingle. Yeah. So you still have the imprint of everything and everything else. Yeah. So that, the holographic idea is taking off quite a bit. I think it's replacing string theory as the favourite oh. theory of, of the physicists in terms of explaining the phenomenon of the universe. Yeah. So ho holography sort of works by dividing the laser light and reflect, reflecting it around and then doing the interference pattern. Yeah. So, and it, so you can store on a two-dimensional thing a three-dimensional image. Yeah. 
if that was occurring across the universe and the source was from within, then you would have everything reflecting everything else. Yeah. So you'd have... Then the question becomes, well, how come you differentiate? So that's the identity bit again. How come you, Shane, I see you as separate. You probably experience yourself as separate. Yeah. You know, how, how the hell does that happen? If we're all kind of... If we're all actually all part of each other. Yeah, and that's how identity comes into it. Yeah. And then those moments where you're like really tired or you've taken some really strong drugs or you're full of love or something and you don't you don't feel much separation from where you are, yeah. who you're with or the yeah. And often that's for me it's been relating to beauty. So when I go to a place that's astonishingly beautiful, I get caught up yeah. in awe and wonder. And I lose all idea of me as being separate. Yeah. Yeah, that one. And I like that. Yeah. And I I long for that. Yeah. And that probably will be my vision of a post human world would be the becoming bigger, probably. Yeah. Integrating more into my being. So understanding our identities will help us better understand how a possible future could turn out and how ourselves will be able to interact with that future in a post-human world.